Good evening again. Can you listen? Yes, Hello. yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry, yes. there was a problem with the with the Wi-Fi connection, but now we're okay. connected again. Okay, we were saying that uh, we'll continue with the Model 2, Section 1, and the name of this, the first section, is about my sister works downtown. So it has to do with vocabulary of transportation. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation. Now, we remember that we have different types, different classes of transportation. We here have some examples. We have a car, a bicycle, a moped. We have a motorcycle, a subway. Well, a subway we don't have here in El Salvador. Not by the moment, right? But supposedly okay. in the future. And also remember that we have other type of transportation. For example, a bus that is very popular here in the country and very, very necessary. We also have a train that in the past we had the train here in our country and the taxi that now is very common, very necessary too. Now, also we have vocabulary about destinations. So referring to the places or the area that we need to go. For example, go to work, go home, go to school. So we have different places. The same, we can say go to the university, can say go to the restaurant, go to like the food courts, go to the pharmacy, right? Other places. Another one, ways to get places. Now, the manner, how you transport, to go to different places. For example, walk, drive. If you drive a car, if you take a taxi, take the train or take the bus. So what is the manner? We're going to discuss the manners or the ways where you get to places. Any question about this? Oh. No, no teacher. Okay, can you mention other transportation? Mention others. Edit, can you mention, please, another transportation? Um, I'll take a taxi. Okay, we have take a taxi. Very good, Miguel Antonio. Uh -huh. Any other transportation? We have the bicycle, Bye. right? The bike, bicycle. Uh, we have yes. the bicycle, what else? Drive. Motorcycle. Aeroplane. Okay, you can drive. A skateboard. A car. A skateboard, ah, yeah, that's true. Yes, that's another part. Eh, no sé cómo se dice la scooter, o no sé si así será el nombre scooter. ya en inglés. Scooter, scooter. Uh -huh. it's, in, okay. it's in English. Uh -huh. Scooter, all right, that's good. We have the skateboard. Hay scooters que tienen como acelerador, así. Yes, it's true. But I guess it's true. We have here in El Salvador, right? Scooters. Sí, bueno, yo tuve una de esas, tenía acelerador, era, era tipo wow. moto, se sentía, tenía acelerador y frenos y todo. Interesting. <laughs> That's good. Good to play too. That's nice. Okay. Now let's check. We are going to watch the first video. And this video is about transportation vocabulary and conversation. The name of this conversation that is nice car. So let's play it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn. Everything OK with the video and audio? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Additionally, Thanks. we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the US. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. 
Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi. Take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive to work. Or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions. And also, I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. Right? So as you notice, we have different transportation in the U.S., right? That they are different from here. Only some of the transportations, they are similar than here in El Salvador. So let's check which are similar and which are different. For example, drive. Drive. So you can drive a car, right? And number two, the other action is walk, right? So you walk. Take the bus. This is also very, very common here. Take the subway. We have the subway. Do we have the subway here in El Salvador? No. No, right? We don't. What about take a taxi or take a, a cab? Yeah. Yes, right? We have this transportation. That's true. Yes. That's cool. Drive. Uh, you have also ride a motorcycle. Is this common in El Salvador? Yes. yes. Yeah, right? Yes. We ride motorcycle. Yes. Ride a bike? Yeah, it's uh, in El Salvador motorcycle is a uh, public transportation, it's, it's a taxi. Model yes. taxi. It's true. In the actuality, <laughs> yeah. you also have, right? Now in the option of Uber, you can take the option uh, if you want to take yeah. like the car or the motorcycle. So you have the two options yeah. now. Yes, that's yeah. good. Ride a bike. Do we have this transportation here in El Salvador? Yeah, right. Yes. Very old. Yeah, it's very old and we need it. That's good. Not only for transportation, but for exercise too. So it's very nice to entertain. Take the train. Sometimes, yes. So inside the, the, the bike. Uh, can use to transportation and, and break. Yeah. Oh, bang, yeah bang. That's true. <laughs> that's true. When they sell the bread, right? Yeah. The French bread, they're telling you, uh -huh, that's true. So you use yeah. it for exercise or transportation to go to work. Uh, you also for business. You use also. Yeah, business. Bike. Yeah, yeah, true. Take the train. Do we have the train in El Salvador in the actuality? No. No, no, right? No. In the past, yes, existed. Yeah. Right? yeah. But not in the present. Now, we have some examples here. In the manner that you investigate how you would get to work, it says, how do you get to work? That's como llegas. How do you get to work? I drive to work. I take the bus to work. So it's I like think... two options, right? That we can use. I drive to work. 
or I take the bus to work. Also, it can be, I take the taxi, or I take a taxi to work. I take uh, the bus to work. I ride a bike to work. I drive to work. I, I yes. take a taxi my uh, work. To my work. Yes. To my I work. Take you my... take a taxi to your work, yes? Yes. Yes, it is? See, I take oh. the bus to my work. To my work. Very good. Edith, what about you? How do you get to work? I take a taxi uh, to my work. Very good. Nice one. Ana Beatriz. Thank you. How do you get to I work? Take, I take the bus. You take the bus to work. Okay, that's good. Now, let's mention here, what are some other kinds of transportation different than here? Not necessarily just to go to work, but maybe to travel. What are other transportations? The yes. other transportation yes. is este, bueno, no, yo lo he puesto en el traductor que la mayoría de se le dice pick up aquí, pero en, si lo pone en el traductor se identifica como levantar. Ah, but that's as an action. Oh. Esa es como verbo. Hay muchas palabras en inglés que la misma se utiliza como un nombre, pero también como una acción. En ese caso, pick up depende de la estructura que lleve. Por ejemplo, se dice, eh, I pick up my sister at work. Yo paso a recoger o paso a traer a mi hermana al trabajo. But if you say, I drive a pickup, yo conduzco un pickup. Mm -hmm. It depends uh -huh. on the structure. Sí, ese transporte también es bien común aquí en El Salvador. Very common. That is true. A pickup. Okay. What else? What about like a private transportation? I take the, uh -huh. I take the bus. Ajá. Uh -huh. To gym. To the gym. Ah, very good. That's nice. <laughs> I take the bus to the gym. Very good. Renee? Yes. What about you? Uh, eh, no sé cómo se dice, uh -huh. pero las mototaxi. Ah, que yes. Hay. It's true. The mototaxi. Yes, it's true. It, these ones are especially in private residentials, right? In private residentials. Mm -hmm. Residenciales privadas. Normally, right, that they have the, those private transportation. All right, good one. Now, let's check another example. How do you get to the university? Who goes to the university? Gen Z, right? Hey, Gen Z, welcome. How do you get to the university? Do you walk? You take the bus? You take a taxi? You take Uber? Uh -huh. Take the bus. All right. I take the bus to the university. Take the bus to the university. That's good. Veronica Maricela, how do you get to the supermarket? Um, it's driving driving I drive I drive I drive to the supermarket to the supermarket all right that's good look at that here we have two options we have two options to express the manner how we arrive to a place for example how do you get to the university walk to the university how do you get to the supermarket i get to the supermarket by motorcycle that by is expressing like a the manner of transportation that by that means por medio de llego al supermercado por medio de o oh, en en moto pero eso indica el medio de transporte so by motorcycle this is when you use get. Now, but also you have other option. You can ask, how do you go to the park? I, I have bike. a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, para aclarar, entonces el by se puede como, se reemplaza como el im en ciertas oraciones. Um, yes, correct. Ah, okay. It is another preposition of place. 
Es otra oh, preposición okay. del lugar, que este me indica por medio de, a través de. Oh, y a okay. at or in me indica que yo estoy en el lugar. Uh -huh, es afirmando que ya está ahí. Ajá, so you have different functions. Oh, okay, gracias. You're welcome. So you can ask, how do you get to the university or how do you go to the university? Ambos verbos se utilizan para ambas. Cómo uno llega, cómo uno va a cierto lugar. Entonces, how do you go to the park? I need a bike. You can okay. also have another option. How do you go to church? ¿Cómo vas a, a, a la iglesia? How do I you go, go to church? To, uh -huh. I, go to, I go to work. To church. To my church. I walk to, to church. church. Ah, okay. I walk to church. Walk to church. Walk to church. Yo camino hacia, hacia la iglesia. Es como, ¿cómo vas? ¿Por qué medio de transporte va? Ah, okay. Yo camino. Don't need transportation. What would be another option? For all place. Uh -huh. Run. For, for all place. I, I walk. To all the places you walk. Oh, but that's good because maybe you have a short distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If it's a short distance, uh, um, you don't I walk. Uh -huh. I yes. walk because it's near. Ah, okay. That's why is that you walk because it's near, right? If the areas where you go, they are near, then you don't need a transportation. You can walk. Yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. Fatima, tell me, how do you go to the restaurant? How do you go to the restaurant? Um, and drive. Ah, you drive. And Excellent. Drive. That's good. You drive. Conduce. Yes. So I go to Rome. Yes. I go to Rome because... I have homework. <laughs> I have homework. <laughs> so you run, right? <laughs> so in case, okay, good exercise too. How do you go to the restaurant? I drive to the restaurant. So that will be different options, right? To investigate this. Now let's go out here. And to the conversation, we watch the video, but now let's practice it. And it says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, now let's check. Do you have new vocabulary here? Vocabulario nuevo? New vocabulary? Uh, yes, this year. Yes. Um, uh, downtown? Downtown. No. Downtown means in the center of the city. For example, here in San Salvador, we have okay. all Centro Historico, all that area is downtown. It's the this, center of the city. In the suburbs? The suburbs. The suburbs uh -huh. are the suburbios, las colonias. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other one? A job? Job, is, empleo. Is her job. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. is her job? To empleo. Okay. Is slow? Is slow. It's like at the contrary, then fast. Lento. It's okay. really slow. Oh. It's realmente lento. Okay. Uh, it's near? Near. It's near. near. Contrary, then far, right? Contrary, then far. Entonces, dice que su tren no está cerca de su casa. Yeah, it's, that's why. Y it's tiene a, que tomar un bus. Stop. Y es slow? Eh, el tren no para, dice, no para cerca de nuestra no. casa. Oh, Así okay. que ellos toman Tienes el bus. Tienes que tomar el bus. Mm -hmm. They have to, right? Okay. They okay. take the bus. And it's really slow. That's too bad. Bad transportation. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank now you. let's practice it. Let's see. Ashley. Edit. You're going to be Ashley. Repeat. Nice car. Okay. Nice car. Jason, is it your? Is it yours? Okay. Is it yours? Is it, it your? Yours. Yours. Very good. Thank you. Renee, continue. No. It's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to court. That's good. Thank you. Continue, Ibis. Okay. Is her it job? Is... Is her job? Is her job here in the suburb? Thank you. That's no, good. No, this is downtown. Okay. All right. Good one. Fatima, continue. I know. My parents. My parents. My parents were down, downtown. 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 But. They don't drive to work. They use public transportation. 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 Very good. Thank you. Renee, please continue. The bus. The bus. Or the, bus. The, bus. the bus. The bus. The bus. The bus. Or the train. 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 The train. The train. The bus or the train? The bus okay. or the train. Very good. Nice one. It is. Continue. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the train doesn't the train? stop. Uh -huh, doesn't stop near our house. So, as you know, <laughs> so, so they take they the bus is really slow. See, really slow. So they take the bus is really slow. Very good job. Really Thank slow. you. That's good. Continue, that's Jessica Esmeralda. Too bad. That's, that's too bad. That's, that's too bad. Too bad. Very good. Okay. Now let's check here. Teacher, una consulta. Yes. Tell me, tell me. Este your celea C O S O. This one. No, es el de esta Ashley, la primera. Ashley, this one, Ashley. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, yours. Yours. With the S. Mm. Yours. Es tuyo? Is it yours? Ours. Yours. 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 También tengo una consulta, teacher. Yes. Bueno, tell dos. Me. Tell me. La primera, este... ¿Cuál es la, la pronunciación en español, ya que casi se escriben igual, de hora y ours es nuestro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero hora también creo que se, escribe, se, se, se escucha la misma pronunciación, it's hora y similar. nuestro. Es muy similar. Let me write it here. Ok, in the case of this one, you pronounce it like our. Or the time, or like this. No, this is possessive. Or uh -oh. and the other one. Ah, the the, sí, the, the the possessive. Ajá, correct. And this one is about time. You say hour, ah, sí. hour, like this. Hour, uh, hour. One uh. hour, two hours. Or mm. or hour. class, or car, or family. Hour. Two hours, oh, wow. one hour. Wow. It's very similar, right? But we need to put emphasis. Sí, la pre ah. segunda pregunta es, no sé si al finalizar la clase, no sé si nos podría facilitar ese documento por el correo, eh, todo la, lo de las sí. diapositivas para fíjese, poderlo repasar. Sí, fíjese que la siempre queda grabada la clase, entonces ustedes la pueden ver desde el día de mañana ya grabada, el video. Oh, ah, sí, sí. Siempre aparece sí, y ustedes las pueden disculpe. ver. Yes, Hola. tell me. Hello, Edith. Tell eh, me. Sí, creo que yes. la compañera se refiere al, al documento que estamos viendo ahorita, o sea, ella se refiere a la clase. Entonces, mm -hmm. creo, compañera, eh, ahí donde está el... Entramos, ahí usted va a ver. En la plataforma. En la plataforma. Uh -huh. Ahí aparecen ahí los videos. 
Sí, y de no, hecho es... les aparece todo el libro también. Ajá, ahí está el libro. Ah, el manual. Ahí lo puede buscar, el manual, cabal. Uh -huh. Aquí aparece el manual. Ya les muestro okay, en específico acá. Gracias. Está en esta parte. Acá, donde dice eh, Students Manual. Y ustedes solo le dan clic acá ah, okay, y les okay, va a aparecer. Sí, les aparece uh -huh. acá. Y aparecen, si ustedes quieren, también lo pueden descargar. Y les aparece todo sí, el módulo. Sí, ah, okay. El libro estaba viendo yo. Uh -huh. De hecho, aquí está la Thank conversación. You. Transportation. Ajá. There you have it. That is complete. Y las clases, pues, también como les mencionaba, ya quedan grabadas y ustedes las pueden ver también, repasarlas todas las veces que ustedes quieran. Okay. Eso está en videoconferencia, ¿verdad? Ayer. Exacto. Ajá. ¿Perdón? Yo hasta ayer me enteré, le digo, de ese proceso. <ríe> sí, siempre las aparece ahí en videoconferencia. Están todas ahí, todas las sesiones. Así las pueden ver ustedes, repasar también. Igual el manual. All right. Any other question? No questions? Eh, yo en este caso se me había cortado lo que es la señal, ¿verdad? Para la clase. Y hasta hace unos tres minutos que me acabo de reconectar, pero no sé de qué, en qué parte se estaba explicando. Tal vez pueda hacerlo resumido. Eh, it's the conversation. We were practicing the conversation. Estábamos practicando mm. la conversación. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. With the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So we are here. Vamos a continuar también practicando, ¿verdad? We have another conversation here. And here we have with this one. For example, how do you go to school? By subway. What about you? Me? I walk. Oscar, let's sí. ask. How do you go to work? Um... Um, um, how do you go to, to work? Mm -hmm. um, to the bus. By bus. Or I sí, take the bus, bus, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, take, I take the bus. Mm -hmm. I take the bus to work. Okay. That's or, right. my, or, or micro bus. So. Coaster. <laughs> That's true, by the coaster also, that uh, they are also very common, very fast, but dangerous too, right? Yeah. Sometimes okay. Uber, sometimes Uber. Sometimes Uber, yes, that's true. Okay, Veronica Cepeda, how do you go to the university? I go... I drive to university. Excellent, that's good. Carlos Arturo, how do you go to work? I walk. I walk, that's good. Nice one. All right, nice. If you observe, we have made conjugation of different actions like go, you can use ride, walk, you even can use uh, run also, those cases. Now, let's check here that we have the manner of regular verbs and irregular verbs. So let's check with our, we have two types of verbs. We have regular ones, irregular what? verbs. The regular verbs are the verbs or the actions that when you transform to the past, they include ed. Right? For to say this past, you say walk, walked. You include ed. For visit, visited in the past. Live, lived. It's like this one, right? Work, worked. But when you have the verbs in an irregular manner, they don't change. For example, go, run, take, write. Now, these other cases, walk, we know what is walk. Visit, live, work. Very common actions. What about go? What is go? Eat. Excellent. Eat. Run. 
Me marcha. Correr. 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 Okay. All right. Take. Tomar. 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 All right. That's good. Right. O agarrar. O agarrar ah, algo. Con... Correct. Right. Como conducir. Montar. Montar. Llegar. Montar, right? In the case Montar. of a, a motorcycle. Ah, uh -huh. Because we don't say drive a motorcycle or drive a, a bicycle. We say ride. Ride a horse. Ride a car. Ride a car. No, you drive a car. Drive. Mm. Pero se monta eh, una bicicleta. You ride a bicycle, ride a motorcycle, ride a horse. Right? You don't drive a horse, <laughs> ah, but you okay. ride, right? You ride a horse. Okay. All right, we have those cases. Now, guys, we're going to take some minutes to take the attendance list. So let me know if you are present, please. I'm going to mention your name. All right, let's start. Adalisette. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank Present. You. Angelica Maria. Angelica. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel. <clears throat> Christian Daniel. I'm here. Yes, thank you. Edith Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Fatima Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Evis Arely. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Franco. Present. Thank you. Joaquin Jesus. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. Lenin, Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Liliana Patricia. Copia. Número. Present. Thank you. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. María de los Ángeles. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Present es... teacher. Thank you. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. Nice Rox... to be here again. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Verónica Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. And Jessica Vanessa. Jessica Present. Vanessa. Thank you so much. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Angelica Maria is present. No. Kevin Orlando. Lenin Monterrosa. An Olympia, Olympia Valeria. No? Okay. What is your name, teacher? My Sorry. name is Sandra. <laughs> My name is Sandra. You joined in this model, right? Se incorporaron en este módulo, ustedes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Welcome to the group then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to, to God. Is you yes. are, 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 our teacher? Thank you, thank you. I'm very happy to see you again, guys. It's a pleasure for me to continue with you. 
All right. So okay. we are here with the regular and irregular verbs. And we know that we transform them into the past and they are different, right? But now let's see the structure that we have. In the structure, we have the simple present tense. And now, remember that in the module one, we saw the simple present, but with the verb to be. Now, we don't conjugate the verb to be, but we conjugate other types of verbs. And it says that a present simple tense is a verb form of a sentence that tells about the action, circumstance, which happens regularly or occurrence. In the affirmative form, we have subject plus verb, is or es plus object. So this object is a complement. For example, Romy loves to eat burgers. What is the subject? In this example, what is the subject? Romy, right? What is the action? Loves. 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 Yes. Loves and to eat like. burgers. To eat the object. burgers. This the is the complement. Yeah. This is the complement. Todo lo que va después del verbo va a ser mi complemento. No, el objeto, right? That's the complement. In the negative manner, you have subject plus do and does. Do and does is an auxiliary. To represent the time. Then you have a negative plus not plus the verb. The verb goes in the original form. And then you have a complement. That's object. For example, Romy does not, Romy does not allow to eat, eat burgers. burgers. So we have subject. Auxiliary, Romy does, does not love to eat burgers. To eat burgers. To eat burgers. But also we have the type of question. In the case of yes, no question, you investigate affirmative or negative. Do or does plus subject plus the verb plus object. Object or complement, right? Or the question mark because it's interrogative. So we need a question mark here. For example, does Romy does love Romy to eat love burgers? To burger? Does Romy love to eat to burgers? Eat burgers? Right now, this is the structure. Now, Burgers. let's see one other example affirmative and negative statements. I walk, I walk to school. To this school. is affirmative. This part is affirmative. I Yo walk. camino hacia la escuela, right? I walk, I walk to school. To school. I walk to school. To school. Now we have you ride your bike to school. It's affirmative. He works near here. He takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Now this is affirmative. In the affirmative form, public transportation. We have it depending on the yeah. subject. subject. You conjugate the verb. For example, I, you, we, and they, you need to use the base form of the verb. Se utiliza la forma base del verbo, right? Con estos sujetos, I, you, we, and they. I, you, we, they drive a car. But we also have the third person singular. Remember, third person singular, you're referring to another mm -hmm. person, but it's only one person. In the case of he, she, it, but now you conjugate the verb with the S form. He as car. He drives a car. car. She drives a car. He it drives a car. a car. So that is in the case of the affirmative. If you observe here, you say, she I, drives say, a car. I walk. To school. You write. So you use base form of the verb with I, you, we, and they. It's original form of the verb. But if you use with he, she, or it, you need the S form of the verb. Se utiliza la forma S del verb. Cuando nos referimos a he, she, and it. Question in this part? Preguntas hasta acá? No questions. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta. Este, yes. 
Calvin. Hay una parte en la que comienza este, en, el, en lo que esté en, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Este, para, de enseñanza, ahí hay una, un video donde se demuestra que hay este, una forma de poder escribir, como por ejemplo, eh, que se menciona eh, eh, los verbos, a, a algunos se les agrega la S uh -huh, y, algo, y, en otra, y en otras ocasiones no. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo el, el verbo live, de vivir, a veces como, como cuando se refiere a familias o a terceras personas, así, o, yeah. yo creo que de, de tercera persona en adelante, no sé si me equivoco, creo que ya se le coloca una S o, o no Exacto. recuerdo cómo es que va eso, no yes. nos puede dar una explicación. Es correcto. Uh -huh. Es de third person. Eso es cuando uh -huh. se refiere a tercera persona. Cuando referimos a él, es he. Uh -huh. eh, in the case of the verb, he lives, él uh -huh. vive, he lives. Porque es tercera persona singular. Porque hay tercera persona plural. Uh -huh. En ese caso que es they. Uh -huh. Ahí se va a mantener el, board, el verbo en su uh -huh. forma base. No es. Uh -huh. In the case of she, is the uh -huh. S form. Because it's third person singular. Drives. It drives. Uh -huh. My family drives. My family walks. It's third person. Pero sí, vamos a ver el video. Ese de hecho lo tenemos después de esta diapositiva. Uh -huh. Que es de la plataforma. Sí. So in the case of negative, you have, uh -huh. I don't live. I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. So we have these examples. But also we have the video. The video that you were mentioning is this one. So there you will have all the differences, affirmatives, negatives, and the questions. Hi, everyone. In this class... Can you listen? No problem. Yes, teacher, yes, I yes. listen. Perfect, thank you. To learn yes. to perform simple thank present you. statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb and uh, school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. It is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. Here is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. 
And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. Work. She takes mm -hmm. the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. And We're does. going to use do not for the pronouns mm -hmm. I, you, we, and they. We're going to use does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now, let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples, I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. She has a new car. Yes. 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 We were explaining that for the affirmative, we have, I walk to school. Then you ride your bike to school. John works near here. That's affirmative. Other examples will be, I study English. You see the form of the verb is base form. You have a nice apartment. Joseph and Jenny live near the school. So they write. 
they ride their bikes to get there. So you have two verbs here, right? We speak Italian. So what is the form of the verb? Because you have subject I, you, in this case, Joseph and Jenny is like they, base form of the verb. They ride, base form of the verb. We is plural, base form of the verb. Now, in the other examples, we have negative. I don't live far from here. She doesn't drive to work. I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. So this is also for third person, right? In the affirmative, but negative, you use doesn't. I do not or I don't study English. Carla lives far from her work, so she drives to her company. This is third person form. Now, we're going to continue tomorrow with more affirmative and the negative form, right? And the question two, we are going to continue with that. Question about this. Vamos a seguir mañana con esto, okay? With affirmative and negative. Questions? Eh, solo, okay. solo una yes. consulta. Tell me. Este, cuando se agrega la ED, cuando se hace un verbo en el pasado, eh, este, hay diferencias como, por ejemplo, si decir este, trabajar, ya decir trabajado, eh, se le agrega una... Y di para in the past. Eso sería nada más para el pasado. Uh -huh. de, yo trabajé. I worked. She worked. Uh -huh. Pero ahí el, ahí el verbo uh -huh. no le va a cambiar. Ajá, lo que yo quiero saber la pronunciación porque se escucha como que no, este, se, no suena la E la e y la D. O sea, decir como por sí. ejemplo, o sea, los es work. Ajá, suena la Ajá. T. La T. Es worked. 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 Ajá. Y depende de también mm. de la terminación, porque hay unos verbos que no suena T, sino que suena como la D. Por ejemplo, if you say study, I study. Sí. Sí, sí. No es la T. Por regla general, mm. todo verbo que termina en una mm -hmm. K como work, ese sí va a sonar como una T, like work. Mm. Uh -huh. like o park, work. De, de estacionarse. Park, I parked. In front of the house, you park. Okay. But other verbs are different. Para decir garantizado. ¿Cómo se dice? En inglés. Guarantee. Guarantee. Para pronunciarlo. Guarantee. Guarantee? Guarantee. Ajá, correcto. Guarantee. I, I guarantee. Garantizado. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. In the past. En el pasado sería guaranteed. I guarantee. Guaranteed. Ajá. That's correct. I guarantee. Guaranteed. I guarantee the product. Guaranteed the product. I guarantee the product. All right. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Guaranteed the product. The product. Correct. Guaranteed. So we have affirmative and negative. But tomorrow we'll continue with more examples. Okay, teacher. And I will see you send you tomorrow. video. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you. teacher. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice to see you again. Bye. Bye. Welcome you to tomorrow, the group. Teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow, Ada. Take care. Bye. Good night. Goodbye, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, take care. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. goodbye.